Well, yeah, but why do you have to stay over? I'll be all on my own. Because it's a hen-do and I don't know what time it'll finish, do I? Besides, I'm going to get back from Bradford. Maybe you don't want to come back. If I thought I could get out of it, I wouldn't be going. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, um, it's all right. There's um, tea in the pot. Morning. Morning. Uh, you know that I'm away tonight, don't you? Yep. Well, Betty's off, so I've asked Charlie to keep an eye on things. How do you mean, keep an eye on things? I mean, see, everything's OK with the pub. All hands to the pump, sir. I'm sure I can manage. Not on your own. And I'd feel better if Charlie was in charge. Excuse me? Him in charge? He doesn't even work here? No, but he lives here and he's my bloke and I run the pub, so if I say he's in charge, then he's in charge. Right. I've got a bag to pack. Right, see you then. Oh, are you waving goodbye to the squirrels? <laughs> no, I'm waving goodbye to 165 quid. Oh, sorry, oh. at least you got him back now. Oh, thanks. As long as he ain't kept a couple of furry friends in his pockets. Oh, yeah. Morning. Hiya. Right. Uh, so, do you fancy coming back to mine for a celebratory brew? Yeah. Oh, why not? Oh. Rattle. Keep strong, obviously. Do you remember Silver Sparkle? Yeah. Best picture our dad ever had. Won all them races. It was a lovely dog. But she never had it easy. She never got on with the other dogs. Probably because they were jealous. When you think about it, she had a terrible social life. Are you saying I'm like a dog? Yeah, but in a good way. What good way? Like, your love life might be a disaster, and maybe no one likes you, but you're still a nice person. Kirk, is this meant to be cheering me up? Yeah. Is it working? No. There you go, mate. You behave yourself. <laughs> I'll try to. I'll see you tomorrow. Mm. <laughs> Come on, get it. <laughs> See ya. Have a good time. You missed a bit. She's gone then. Yeah. It's just you and me now. Is it true you had a fling with Shelley's mum? Who told you that? Well, you know, people get talking. I don't like to listen to gossip, but this is a pub. Well, is it true? It was a mistake. I see. And was this before you started going out with Shelley? Are you telling me you've never made a mistake? Never woken up in the wrong bed? Just curious, that's all. By the way, it's stuff about me being in charge. Yep. As far as I'm concerned, you're in charge of this pub. If you can handle it. Yeah, no problem. Good. Didn't want to contradict Shelley. Our little secret. OK. OK. Tyrone, can have a word with our Maria? Well, what's up? She's really down. She won't even come out for a drink with me and Fizz. I don't think she wants to go in the Rovers on her own, so I thought maybe you could have a word with her. She listens to you. Well, I could try. Do you really think she listens to me? Yeah, well, more than she listens to me. Can we have some crisps? Yeah, of course you can, as soon as Pippa gets here. Oh, but we're hungry. Well, she won't be long. And behave yourselves when she's here, no running round and shouting. That means you and all, Chesney. I'll be good as gold, promise. And go on, you can have one crisp. Ooh, I love grapes, me. Hiya, I'm home. Kevin, what time do you call this? <coughs> <coughs> What's wrong with him? He swallowed a grape. <coughs> it's an olive, not a grape. Oh, oh, so if you pick it up and put it in the bin, are you going to be sick? No. Good. Good. Now, nobody touches this food till Pippa gets here. Kevin, she's going to be here any minute. Oh, what's all this? I thought we was going out for a pizza. Yeah, well, this Pippa is the first friend that Rosie's brought home from Oak Hill. She's upstairs getting ready, so it's obvious she wants to make a good impression. And so do I. <laughs> she's not royalty, is she? Hey, well, you never know, Kevin. I mean, they go to Greece for a month in the summer. That'll be Pippa. 
You better answer the door. It's too late to get tired on now to pretend to be butler. No, but it's not too late for you to go and have a shower and put some decent clothes on. Come on. Oh, do save an olive for me, darling. Hi, yeah. Hello. Is this Rose's house? It is. And, uh, and you are. And Pippa. Pippa Papadopoulos. Um, I, I was just passing. Well, I, I wasn't passing. I was I was coming round here. I was just about to ring the bell. Are you going out? Yeah, I've just run out of milk. Oh. Kurt was worried about you. Yeah. He said you might not fancy going in the Rovers on your own. And he thought that if I was to come round and ask you to go out with me for a bit, then uh, might get you out of the flat for a few hours, if you want. Yeah. Yeah, all right. Why not? <laughs> Great. I'll pick you up about seven. Yeah, OK. See you later. Yeah. Hello? Hello? Charlie? Hello? Oh, sorry. She didn't hear you coming. What can I do for you? I'm sorry I had to go at you earlier. It was cheap. I was still angry at Shelley saying that you were in charge, so I'm sorry. Apology accepted. Anything else? Well, uh, I was just hoping we could start again. You know, seeing as now we have to live in the same place. Clean slate? Yeah. Good idea. And I appreciate you coming here. It can't have been easy for you. Not on them heels. <laughs> You can use a knife and fork if you want to. Well, it's a pizza. You're supposed to use your fingers. So, Pippa, what, what do your parents do? Uh, nothing. Well, they must do something or you won't go to Orkill. Leave it alone, Amor. I'm only asking. It's not a secret, is it? They run a kebab shop. A kebab shop? Yeah. Satisfied. And do they just have the one shop, or do you have a chain of restaurants? No, it's the one shop. And we live in the flat upstairs. OK. OK. Right, come on, eat your pizzas. She's obviously on a scholarship. Well, she's got parents who scrimp and save and make sacrifices, you know, to send her to the best school in the area, like we do. Father says she won't let him go. Put the money away. Okay. Tenner. She's got a rugs in. He knows what he's doing. I've got to go, babes. But we are going out, aren't we? Of course we are. Together. Yeah. But we're just not going out together tonight. No. But well, you know what? Because you're being so good about this, I'm going to take you somewhere really special. Just me and you, because you're the best. Right, two pints and half a lager. And, and a pint of bitter when you're ready, love. Right, well, you'll have to give me a second, Jack. You couldn't come round here and give us a hand for five minutes, could you? Just till things calm down a bit. Thought you said you could go. Well, I can, but... We're going out. Charlie, show me the sights of Manchester. So we could be back in ten minutes. Right, are we ready, boys? I can pull a pint if you're desperate. Could you? For you, Mother, anything. A masterful move, a pint of bitter when you're ready, son. Certainly, Jack. You OK, then? Uh, yeah, I am now. You go on. OK. Let's hit the road. So you can have a kebab, like, any time you want. <laughs> Trust me, you get sick of him. Sick of the stink and all. You never get rid of it. Yeah, like engine oil. Show me your fingers, the well minging. Uh, excuse me. If it wasn't for oh. engine oil, the world would <laughs> grind to a halt. I love kebabs, me. I could have them every day. I'd like 
pizza for breakfast, kebabs for dinner and chips for tea. I have to wash my hair for hours every morning just to get the stink out before school. But you like going to Oak Hill? Of course I like it. It's the best school in the area. See? I know. I just wish we didn't live in such a pokey little flat. I'm not sure your mum would want to hear you talking like that. She knows what I think. Yeah, but... That's the thing about Oak Hill. It's a cut above the rest. It's got class. I just wish some of it would rub off on my family. But I'm sure that your mum and dad have made a lot of sacrifices for you to go to that school. I suppose it's too late for me to be adopted by a decent family. Pippa! What? It's not my fault. I love being an Oak Hill girl, but I still have to go home every night to my stupid family. Well, you would have thought that Oak Hill would have taught you a bit of respect for your parents. It's taught me that I'm different to them. And it's taught me that when I grow up, I am not going to run a kebab shop. In fact, as soon as I'm old enough, I'm going to move as far away from them as possible. Mission accomplished. Thanks again. Oh, it worked this time then, didn't it? Like a charm. Is it like magic? Oh. Hey! Hang on a minute! Elizabeth, what's going on? We can't have every Tom, Dick and Harry back here. He's my son, and he's doing us a favour. It's for one night he's not getting paid. Oh, one night only. What is that? It's a football rattle. Ashley was only talking about these the other day. Yes, I, I, I lent it to Fred Elliot. It's, he, he has a, an infestation of squirrels it, it, in his loft. Squirrels? See, see now, the squirrel, in many ways, is a very brave creature, but it is also very frightened of loud noises. Hey, I'll tell you what, Charlie. He's not slapped his face yet. I never said he'd get his face slapped. I just said he'd strike out. <laughs> I mean, step up. Put my back in. I mean, leave it. <laughs> Go on, son. <laughs> you knew she had a boyfriend. See, you got to think before you act. You're racing like that, and you're lucky you don't get a slap. <laughs> I can handle myself. What are you talking about? You only came up to his knees. Stop to prove it. Hey, Ooh. sit down, take a deep breath, eh? Don't look now, boys. There's a couple of tasty birds at the bar. Right, here we go, then. You. Sit and watch. You never know. You might learn something. You know you're mad, you are. Well, I'll tell you what. I'll bet you a fiver. He brings in birds over within five minutes. <laughs> you know something? You make me feel old. Too right. I saw you at Candice. Are you ready, Bill? Oh, give over, will you? Candice is a good laugh. And I know you had a crack at her. I never knew you and she had a thing. Yeah, well, it's an off and on sort of thing. And it's on right now. <laughs> Gentlemen, let me introduce you to Helen and Shania. These are my two good friends, Warren, Jason. You all right? You all right, girls? You all right? Have you seen one of these before? It's a football rattle. Ah. Yeah, and apparently they're good for scaring squirrels and all. Really? Yeah. And Roy said Fred borrowed one to get rid of some squirrels in his loft. And we reckon he must have scared them into your loft. <laughs> all right, fair play. I borrowed it off Fred and scared him into Gales. Yeah? And then you cost me 165 quid to have them removed. Ah. But we had the squirrels first. Right. Thank you. All right, fair enough. Listen, want a word with you? You know what's so good about you? What? I, I don't have to say anything. I mean, I don't have to try and be funny or clever. I can just sit here and not say anything and we can just be with each other and that's all right. Yeah. I suppose me and you will always have something special, won't we? You realise you probably know me better than anyone else I've ever been out with, don't you? Yeah, I feel the same. You probably know me better than Jack and Vera, even. <laughs> 165. Couldn't we split it three ways? Hey, do we your squirrels first? I offer to lend you the rattle. Keep you counting, Fred. What's happened to the little pests? I oh, don't know. The blow took them away. Uh. You missed an opportunity there, Fred. You could have been flogging squirrel sausages. <laughs> hey, no! <laughs> uh, yes. 
Thanks for tonight, Ty. I was feeling a bit sorry for myself before, but being here with you makes me feel like me again. So thank you. You're welcome. I'd do anything for you, you know. Yeah, I know you would. I appreciate it. But do you know why I'd do anything for you? Yeah. Because you are a really good mate, Tyrone Dobbs. And I want you to promise me that whatever happens and whoever we go out with, me and you will always be friends. Yeah. Yeah, I promise. <laughs> right, drink up. The girls are going to take us down to Peppermint Lounge. You what? Club in town. Loads of action. Even a few oldies. I don't think so. You go on. Oh, come on, mate. We'll have a great time. Early night for me. What's the matter with you, Stubbs, eh? Hey, taking a vow of chastity. You know, we won't tell Shelley. Or Candice. Who's Candice? Hey, are you really his dad? Oh! Go on. Oh, no, it's time to go home. The kids have a good time. You don't do anything I wouldn't do. That's okay. Good luck, big man. Hey, we make a good team, you and me. Well, I've already got a job, thank you. Yeah, I know. Do you miss me, Dad? Do you think? Because I miss him. Yeah. I don't know what I'd do without Karen. I just, I just wish that you could see her the way I do, you know? I'm trying. Good. We'll try harder. <laughs> well, go on, go home. I'll finish clearing up and tell her I sent you. I will. See you, Mum. Night, love. Oh, I should be grateful. Grateful for what? For tonight. How many families would be happy to go out together like that, eh? Not papers, that's for sure. Exactly. You know, I'm glad we celebrated our anniversary with the kids. Made me realise how lucky we are. What did you make of Pippa? Nah, she was showing off. Makes me wonder what Rosie says about me when she's with her mates. Listen, kids only bad mouths their parents when they feel secure. I bet if Pippa's mum and dad was rowing all the time on the verge of splitting up, she won't talk like that. What do you think? I know it. So why would Rosie make a friend of somebody like Pippa? I don't know. Yeah, well, I do. Cos the longer she goes to Oak Hill, the more she's gonna start looking at us and wishing she could be adopted into some decent family. Hey, Rosie is not like Pippa. You don't know what she says about us when she's at school. She's probably ashamed of us already. We can't change who we are. No, but we're changing Rosie by sending her to that school. And soon she's going to think she's too good for this family and she'll be wanting to burst away just like Pippa. Hey, it's our job to do the best we can for our kids. And it's their job to be as surly and as ungrateful as possible. I know you know, we might embarrass them and they want to move a million miles away, but they'll come back because they know we love them. Yeah. And that's why I wanted to celebrate today, the day we got married. Look, I did some some stupid things and lost you. I've got you back again now, and I love you more than ever. And I love our kids, despite what they say about me dirty fingernails. You know, you're still that golden-haired girl I married 18 years ago. I don't ever, ever want to lose you again. Oh, Kevin. Charlie? Who's there? Only me. Didn't scare you, did I? Did you have a good night? Oh, it was OK. How about you? Yeah, it was really good. It was nice to spend a bit of time with my son, actually. Sorry I ran out on you. No, it's OK. I enjoyed it. It was good running the place on my own. It reminds me how much I like it here. Thank you. Let me help now. What can I do? It's all done. What about a drink? I don't say no. You deserve it. Go on, then. I'll have a small vodka before bedtime. <laughs> I love it when the pub's like this. All quiet. It's like when I'm doing up a house and it's stripped bare. 
full of possibilities. You know, an hour ago, this place was full of people. Talking, laughing, arguing. You couldn't hear yourself think. Now you can hear a pin drop. Sometimes, when I'm working on an empty house, on my own, late at night, I swear I can hear the house tell me its stories. Are you saying you talk to houses? Prince Charles talks to plants. <laughs> Think of the millions of things that have happened in this pub over the years. Eh? Fights, deals, weddings, celebrations, funerals, all in the same place. You're quite deep for a builder. I have my moments. What? I don't think so. I'm getting signals. Oh, I'm not sending any. Really? Because I get the distinct impression that you and me are on the same wavelength. I'm not sure we're on the same planet. Bit of fun. No strings. No, thank you. It's a one-night only opportunity. I said no. But your eyes are saying yes. Are you deaf? I said no. What's wrong with you? What? Oh, come on. I'm not blind. You came to see me. Look at the way you dress. If I ever feel your breath on my face again, it'll be the last one you take. <laughs>